there's a park about a block away and I'm taking the the keys that are scented like vanilla up there and I'm gonna drop them in some tall grass and then I'm gonna go back and get Jupiter and I'm gonna have Jupiter hunt these up I bet he finds them I bet he has no problem with this he's Jupiter I'm gonna take him off leash to do this too we're not going to have any problems, and I'll tell you why. It's because Jupiter told me he knows not only the police chief, but he knows the mayor. Right? We're not going to have any problems. Nobody's going to give us any shit about Jupy being off of a leash. And if that doesn't work, we'll call Charlie's dad. Well, Charlie's dad would only help us out if we were in Canada. But we know some people. So Jupy's going to do it off leash. Here's the plan. It's just to drop them right here. It's right on the corner. So I could just walk Jupy in here, right? And it'll sort of be kind of energy will force him into this corner. I know dogs. He'll go sort of for the corner. So it'll, it'll sort of make it easier for him to find. We want to make it easy for Jupy to find. This is outside. It's, it's you know. He's never been in this park, I don't think. Well, yeah, one time we did this already. But he's never been in this section of the park. So, so, so that's the plan. So I'm just going to nonchalantly drop him like that so nobody takes him. And no, no, I can't even see him. I cannot see them. Um, no dog is going to take them. Dog will walk right past these. You know, unless a dog is trained to pick up that smell, they're not going to think anything about it. It'll just be like, Oh, there's a human's keys, you know? Let's go get Jupiter. I, 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 I bet he has very little problem finding this. That's my guess, he's Jupy. We've been, we've been playing this game the whole time he's been here and he's, he's picked it up, he loves scent work. Boy, talk about a, a small dog that could be used for hunting, DEA work, bomb sniffing. We're talking about a dog a breed of dog that has superior, superior scenting ability. I ain't shitting you, man. First time I saw that was with Micah. You know, I was training him the same thing, not to find vanilla, but he was finding um, dummy launchers and bird scent. And then I trained him to find my own scent, you know? There's no wind. If you're going to train your dog to find, to do scenting work, you, you want to, when you first start doing this, to have wind and you want to walk them into the wind. That makes it easier for them. But jupy has been doing this inside with no wind whatsoever. So I would imagine this is not going to be too much of a problem for Jupy. It isn't. It's Jupy. I'll tell you what I smell. I smell marijuana. You know, that's a drug. Kids, don't do drugs. Don't. Take, and really don't drink. Drinking's really horrible. It is. I haven't had a drink in 20 years. It's not good, but I do think that they should legalize weed. Why not? You know? States will make money. Tax the shit out of it. It smells good. I like the smell of weed. All right, I got Grandmaster Jupy with me. Jupy, you got to pee. Take a take a pee. Hurry, hurry. We'll walk up there. Let's see how he does. Jupy's peeing. He knows the potty command. Hurry, hurry. He's off of a leash, but I do have the e-collar in my hand. You know, dude. Let's go here. Jupy, heel. Take advantage of walking him up there. Right, we're working on heel. I walked this dog into Manhattan off leash. She'd listen to me. It's Jupy. It's a textbook heel. He's he's right on it. All right. Come to this. Sit. It's Jupiter. Heel. Dogs up ahead, Jupy will stay at heel. He will. 
If he didn't, if I didn't think he would, I'd have him on a leash. Don't ever do this until your dog's ready, you know? Remember, I'm a professional, so don't try this at home, kids. Heel. He's pretty awesome. He is, he's awesome. And he's a Peter Kane trained dog, so he's super awesome. Be heel. Here, heel. Here, chip. Here, heel. Chip be here. Come here, buddy. All right, so we're in the area. Chip hunt them up. Hunt them up. Where are they, Chip? Hunt him up, buddy. Hunt him up. Where are they, Jupe? Oh, he's got a pee. Tonk always does this, too. Jupey, hunt him up. Where are they? Hunt him up, Jupe. No, Jupe, over here. Hunt him up. Where are they, buddy? He's peeing still. Hunt him up, Jupe. Where are they? He smells it. Hunt him up. Where are they? Where are they, Jupe? Hunt him up. Hunt him up, Jupe. Jupe has to dump. That's why it's not hunting him up. Come on, Jupy, hurry, hurry. When the dog has to dump, the dog has to dump. That's just how it is. We'll give him a second, we'll give him his privacy. You know. Tonka does this all the time, too. Send a Tonka to go find birds or something. You know, or something I put out in the field, and then all of a sudden he's taking a dump, see? Grandmaster Jupiter. Alright, Jupy, hunt it up. Where is it, Jupe? Where is it, Jupy? Hunt it up, Jupe. Oh, he found it. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, you do. Hey, good boy, Jupy. Jupy found my keys in the park. Jupy, sit. He's trying to do a victory lap. Sit. That's Jupy. That's a good boy. Sit. Look at that. Jupy can find keys in tall grass. But he has to dump first. That's pretty good, Jupe. Now remember that. If your dog has to go to the bathroom, they don't they don't function right. So make sure that they go to the bathroom and then sit. And then give them the command. Or if you're noticing that the dog, when you're working with the dog, that the dog is just sort of not paying attention, or they're just, they might need to go to the bathroom. Let them go to the bathroom and then go back to training. He did awesome, he found him. After he took a dump, it took less than, I don't know what that was, 35 seconds? It's pretty good. And the wind was not blowing in the, dra you know, he had to really get up on it. There is a little bit of wind here, but he wasn't gonna get, get any wind the way there was. I'm very happy with him, he's great. He's definitely not looking for them with his eyes. He's looking for them by scenting. So, well, this is what he needed to do during the board and train. This is one of the things that, that he's done. He's accomplished it. We have some days left. We're still going to do this. We'll probably do this again tomorrow. And I'll take him to like the other end of the park or something. Maybe, maybe let him dump first. Good boy, Jupy Heel pretty awesome. I got to pick this dump up, by the way. I almost walked out without picking it up. You got to pick it up in Brooklyn. Well, welcome back home. It's the same thing. It's a training scenario. 
should be an instant heal. Here it's asshole. I hate that shit, man. They're they're not licensed. They don't wear helmets. Their motorcycles are loud as shit. Call me. I had a bike. I had two of them, but I didn't have anything that sounded like that. You know, there's no reason to have a, a motorcycle that's loud like that. There's none. Chippy, sit. Got a dog up ahead. The woman's just standing there like a, a bump on a log with the kids. Like, I, I, you know, you see somebody like that, that, that the, the dog is on a flexi lead and a harness, just steer clear of them. The dog isn't trained. The dog is a, a fucking mess. She's standing there like, like my, the dog that I'm with is supposed to interact with her fucking mutt, her untrained mutt. People are stupid. Keep your dog, if your dog's trained, keep it away from these dogs. There's no reason for your dog to be interacting with anybody else's dog. That's not socializing your dog. That's conditioning them to be excited when they see dogs on the street. And then your dog behaves like, like this woman's dog, like shit. Well, Juppie just sat there at fucking heel. See the point? Everybody should listen to me. Don't listen to most of these people. Don't. And we're going to walk right by these people. Here, heel. Chupi, sit. Chupi, heel. Come on, get up here. Oh well, that that's enough for today. Me and Chupi are tired. Getting my front end alignment done on my car was exhausting. I worked with Chupi in the morning. We did a bunch of sessions. We just did a couple sessions now too. You know, I'm one of these trainers that I never feel like I've done enough. It's the truth. Like camo. Fuck, man, some dog like that? I held on to the dog as long as I could. You know? I'll go, I'll go fucking broke trying to help out a dog. This is a different situation. Chippy, sit. We have a dog up here on the corner. See it? Oh, heel. Another harness. Heel. No, heel. Sit. No, sit. Heel. Heel. She wanted to ask a question, right? And I hate it when people in the neighborhood ask me questions about dogs. Nobody in this neighborhood can afford me, one. Number two, every time I did try and help somebody, they never utilized my shit because they can't. They can't. It doesn't make any sense to them. That's why the board and train is, is so important. Jupy, sit. No, sit. That's why the board and train is so important. Heal. That you have to get the dog functioning to, you know, so that the human can even work with the dog. The human that doesn't understand dogs, it's unrealistic to think that they're going to be able to train the dog, do enough sessions by just you hanging out with them for a fucking hour and demonstrating something. You have to get the dogs trained and then demonstrate how to do it. You get the dog functioning and then you get the human functioning. That's why somebody was contacting me about private lessons the other day. I tell them the same thing. Don't, I'm not going to waste your money and waste my time. Board and train only. That's my motto. Right, Jupe? Come on, Jupe. Jupe did awesome. He could find vanilla in a jungle at this point. He would look. He knows the term hunt him up. Sit! Grandmaster Jupiter. <laughs>